A key part of the extraordinary investigation that led to the rescue of Cleo Smith was the clearing of her parents from any suspicion of guilt, after police monitored the couple and tapped their phones before concluding they were definitely not involved. After the four-year-old went missing in highly unusual circumstances from her mum and stepfather's tent while camping in Western Australia on October 16, suspicion unfairly, but inevitably, fell on them. Initially, police said they weren't ruling anything out in relation to her bizarre disappearance which took place in the middle of the night with nothing but a few shaky leaves. But authorities, and even the West Australian Premier, Mark McGowan, definitively ruled out Ellie Smith and Jake Glidden as suspects after intense surveillance in the midst of epic investigations that will go down in police folklore. Cleo was rescued from the Carnivon home on Wednesday before 1 a.m. in what is being regarded as a world-leading operation, bursting through a door and finding the little girl sat alone in a room playing with toys. A 36-year-old Carnivon man, with no connection to the family, is in custody and due to face charges over her alleged abduction. So how and why were Cleo's parents definitively cleared before she was even found? It is understood that as soon as Cleo disappeared, West Australian police began extensive surveillance on the parents. That involved WA police tapping the phone calls of Ms. Smith and Mr. Glidden for any conversations that might suggest guilt or show an inconsistency in their story, neither of which ever materialized. The surveillance is believed to have been standard procedure. Authorities are also understood to have monitored the anguished couple for suspicious remarks and behavior, partly through ongoing interviews and contact with them. Police often ask persons of interest in a major crime investigation the same questions several times in different ways in an effort to find inconsistencies in their stories. Ms. Smith and Mr. Glidden were understood to have been rock-solid in their accounts and squeaky clean in all observed conversations. By the second week of the investigations, with hope fading and trolls beginning to point the finger at the parents, authorities were convinced they bore no guilt and were hiding nothing. We want to make it clear, they are not suspects in this investigation. They have been helping us, the lead investigator, Detective Superintendent Rod Wild, said last week. On Monday, Mr. McGowan took the unusual step of publicly defending Ms. Smith and Mr. Glidden. They say the most horrible and shocking things that they'd never say otherwise. I just urge them to stop, Mr. McGowan said. He added those who hurled anonymous insults online were nothing but cowards and there needed to be a return to treating people with decency and respect, particularly in a case like this where people were distraught. Since Cleo vanished from her family's campsite, social media sleuths filled online forums with conspiracy theories falsely claiming that the girl's parents were involved, 
despite detectives making clear early on they were not being treated as suspects. Within minutes of the news breaking she had been found on Wednesday, people flocked online to denounce those who pointed the finger at Cleo's mom Ellie Smith and stepdad Jack Glidden, demanding they issue the parents an apology. Advertisement